Okay, I'm making this video because uh, I wanted to talk about resilience and I'm going to tack this on to my next motorcycle chat. Um, speaking of the motorcycle, I uh, did some research on YouTube and uh, I didn't know, like I said, it's my first motorcycle and uh, it takes a different, this is a Motul, it's 100% synthetic oil uh, for scooters, uh, 10W30, got to have the MB uh, designation. Now. I contact, the, there's two different, there's two videos on YouTube. One of them has you taking the bottom plug out of the drain pan, uh, and then you unscrew the side bolt with the 17 millimeter socket. And then the other video, they just unscrewed the 17 millimeter socket and did not take the drain plug out in the bottom. So it's in conflict and I haven't been able to find any other information. So I contacted Honda and uh, they directed me to Hemlock. Um, and that's where you can get manuals on cars and motorcycles and they did actually have a service manual for the Honda ADV 150 so once again resilience right I want to be able to do as much work on that motorcycle as I can myself rather than you know running it down all the way to the other side of Ocala and taking it into the service shop especially for something as simple as, a, as an oil change it only takes one quart but guess what twenty dollars <laughs> for this one quart of oil i i was shocked of course i got two of them so now and and that was another thing you know I, you got to read that owner's manual and and i kind of knew you know with a new engine especially in a car you know you're always going to want to change that oil uh a lot sooner than, than what you would normally uh, because you get those metal shavings from the engine breaking in down into the oil and that'll just tear that engine apart and I stupid me you know I was, I was supposed to change it at 600 miles I got 800 miles on it so I'm grounded I can't ride the motorcycle until I get that service manual because I need the question answered as to whether I'm going to pull that bottom plug or just the side plug or both uh, of course the side plugs got to come out regardless because you got to clean that's that's actually kind of like your uh, oil filter okay it's uh, on, the, on the motorcycle but you, it's, you don't buy a new one you just clean it with uh, well the, one guy used WD-40 uh, another guy used carburetor cleaner I got some brake cleaner I don't think it really matters what what you use as long as it's uh, petroleum based so <clears throat> that's enough on the auto motorcycle so uh, the other thing is, is resilience okay uh, previous homeowner they put rock in here and I uh, you know, you can't tell uh, during the summertime, this is just a weed farm. They didn't put any barrier underneath the rock. And uh, so this whole area just looks like a, a jungle. And uh, I want to, like, you know, I've, I've told you, you got to grow vegetables. Uh, food prices are going to go sky high, in my opinion. Uh, just like oil prices are going to go sky high. Uh, you know, Biden's going to spend another uh, two, two trillion dollar tax increase. Uh, because uh, everybody says it's stimulus, it's not stimulus, you print counterfeit money, that's a tax increase. Um, so your prices at the grocery store, your prices at the pump are going to go up. So uh, what I'm hoping is maybe I can grow some vegetables in here and uh, it's slow going, you know. I mean, isn't this ridiculous? I, I put this all together and what I do is I just sift the rock out of the dirt here and uh, you do it one shovel full at a time. You know, here you just get another shovel full bring it up and uh, eventually I'll get it done and uh, you know a buddy of mine Rudy he's dead now unfortunately and uh, he gave me probably the, the best piece of wisdom that I've ever gotten uh, because it just resonates in my head because I've had many projects on this Florida uh, lot like this and uh, he says you eat an elephant one bite at a time um, now, am I taking other steps? You know, right now, Bill Gates, uh, he's buying up all the farmland around the United States. Uh, last uh, count, he owns about 50% of the agricultural land in the United States. Um, so you always go where the rich boys go. So I'm looking at uh, hopefully uh, being able to buy a, an agricultural plot of my own. So because the community here, you know, you got old people and they don't they don't want you to have a garden. They don't want you to grow your own food. You know, it's more about what but they can't see back here behind my house. <laughs> so, so if they come back here and see my vegetables growing, I more power to them, but I don't think they'll ever know unless they watch this video and most of them don't even know what YouTube is. So uh, that's it for here. We'll tack this on to the next motorcycle chat. Just kind of wanted you to see what I'm trying to do to become more resilient. It's, it's a, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's a slow project and will vegetables even grow in here? This, this soil, if you look at it, this is not good soil, you know? 
And uh, so maybe what I'll have to do is just take this soil out and put in some black dirt and you know that'll and I'm, of course I'm going to extend this out a bit so this will be a bigger area and I only get uh, well here let's just uh, show you what what I'm up against so if you look see I don't get much sunlight there's the sun right there and uh, so the, I got to figure out what will grow in a shady place now the good news is is that a lot of vegetables here in Florida are going to have difficulty because of the heat and uh, being in this spot, you know, the, the vegetables that I grow might actually grow better. So anyway, that's it for now. And uh, we'll put this on the next motorcycle video. Peace out, guys. Well, we're back at it again today. Now, I know I got to be breaking through here within a quarter mile, maybe half a mile. I'm not sure. But uh, I figure what we're going to do when I do break through We'll come back another day and then we're just going to hike in celebration this whole portion of the Florida Trail. And that'll be, uh, that'll be it and I'll get a, a nice long video of, of me hiking after, what, six, seven, eight, ten days of work. I don't know how long I've been at this. And I did see a weed eater with the metal attachment, you know, that could spin around and cut the other portion of the trail. But I don't think they sell that for the weed eater that I bought. It just never occurred to me that I would need an attachment like that. But anyway, that's it for now, and uh, I'm just going to leave everything right here and just cut, start cutting my way through, see how far we get. Well, show you, I think we've, we've broken through a bit. I guess I'll, what I'll do is just, just hike up a ways and see if, uh, see if maybe the, you know, the trail is hikeable now. Now I got the bear spray in the pocket because I'm getting pretty deep down in here. Just hope I hope the motorcycle is still there when I get back. But uh, boy, you can see the wild pigs. They really tear up the trail, don't they? Holy moly. That's why I got the bear spray. But let's, let's go a ways back and see what, see what we see. Well, I look like a porcupine. There's just no way to cut these things down without getting them all over you. But uh, got some good progress today. I don't know how much longer... I'm gonna go. In fact, I thought maybe I'd lost the uh, <laughs> phone in the backpack because I was hiking back and I was going, man, I made it a good ways down in here. This is great. So uh, you can see the wild pigs have been back here. They've been, been digging. And uh, you, know, you would never know how much I had to cut to get through all of this. You know, I'm trying to, and then, uh, you know, the hardest part is you gotta, these things are going to seed, right? So you don't want to just leave them on the trail because next next time you next year you know they'll all be growing back on the trail. So I'm moving them as far back into the, the woods on the sides as I can just to keep them off of the trail. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what we got done. And uh, wait, <laughs> we'll get a shot as soon as I get up here to the cutters of my shoes just to show you. How these birds just stick all over you. I can understand why they don't want to cut in this portion of the trail. But uh, like I said, I'm determined I'm going to get to 1,500 miles at some point. Even if I have to do it one, one half mile at a time. So, you know, this is, this is not too bad cutting through here. Or some of it, you know. It still takes a while. But here, check, check these shoes out. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be picking them things off forever when I get back to the car. Alright, I'm going to go probably another little ways down and that'll be it for today. I am just want to get a hike in on the, uh, on the other portion of the trail that I don't have to cut in. Well, I didn't get far. This is, uh, this is what it looks like. I'll have to slowly work my way through here and cut this next time I come. i got to be getting close to where I... Uh, was cutting in from the other side. I can't believe I'm not there yet. Man. All right, well, that's it for today. You guys have a good one. This is always a welcome sight to see it still here. I just gotta show you, I'm gonna be here a while. Look at this shoe. Holy moly. Just, uh, just everywhere, look at this. Only thing I know to do is just start stripping out of the clothes and pick them all off. That's a tough portion of the trail. That's all I got to say.